What is up, Aaron? This is Prasanna Balakrishnan back again. This time for the player ratings for this season. I have already put my in-depth season review in my last video. I'll put up the link here once this video is going to the end. So this video, we're going to go every player by player who has performed this season for Chelsea Football Club. We will be rating them based on their performances and whether we can keep this season or sell them or probably give them a loan spell for them to gain some experience. So let us go into the players list now. I've got the players list here. Starting off in goal, we had Kepa. I mean, for some games at the start, he was very, very poor. He was very average. He was conceding mistake after mistake again, like he did last season. And he didn't seem to improve. I mean, like we got him for 72 million. And he didn't seem even a 20 million goalkeeper. With all due respect, um, you only have to look at the first game against Brighton where he left a goal from long range. If you score him against him in long range, you'll beat him. Second game against Liverpool, he tries to pass out from the back and ends up as a huge mistake. And uh, it gives Liverpool a goal. And for some games, he was very, very, um, say, very, very scratchy. And he had to be dropped for Edward Mendy to start. And even under uh, Tuchel, Mendy, uh, Mendy was the first starter and Kepa was hardly starting games. The games that he started, he did pretty decent. Apart from maybe the FA Cup final against Leicester. Could he have saved the goal? I don't think so. Because it was a brilliant effort from Yuri Tielemans. And I think since Tuchel has come, he has kept a good number of clean sheets. Will I keep him for next season? Probably yes. Because I'll put him as a number two. With Edward Mendy being number one. So my ratings for him... For Kepa would be, he's had an average season. So, I'll probably say a 5 on 10 for him. I think that's, we can definitely give a 5 on 10 for him. Next up, uh, Caballero, hardly played, so can't rate him. Mendy, for his first season, he has been absolutely outstanding. And I cannot fault him. He has been super hard since he's come in. He's been making saves. And some of his work can, is actually made a bit easier because of the defense and the system that is set up in front of him. When Lampard was there, he was conceding goals, but not, but you can't fault him for any of those goals. After Tuchel, he's been super solid and his game has increased to another level. One thing we we'll want him to improve on is his kicking, but he'll only get better and better as he goes on. For Edward Mendy, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 because he definitely deserves it. For his performances this season. Next up, we go into the defenders. I go on to first Antonio Rudiger. Rudiger at the uh, last season, he was very, very poor. And we were thinking, should we sell him? Um, because Thiago Silva is coming in and should Rudiger be sold? And Rudiger, even at this season, there were talks of like he was the cause for Lampard. Jack said he would cause thunders in the dressing room, etc. etc. But Tocha came and gave him a chance. And he has been absolutely superb. He has been rock solid in defense. And wonderful. he has performed wonderfully. He has kept clean sheets after clean sheets after clean sheets. He has had wonderful performances. And he can only get better next season. Hope to see him perform well in the Euros. Rudiger for this season. I'm going to give him a solid 8 out of 10. Because he deserves it. He has been absolutely superb. Next, we go to Marcos Alonso. I think he has been pretty average as well. Albeit, some games has made a massive impact. Against Burnley, he scored the second goal. Against Man City, he scored the winner. But again, defensively, he was caught napping many of times. We can remember the game against West Brom at the third game of the season, where he was absolutely roasted. And there was talks that he went off straight to the team bus rather than the dressing room. And he was never picked since, picked in the team since. But ever since he has come back on the Tuchel, he has been, he has been decent. In some games, he has performed well. Some games, he hasn't performed well. For me, he has been above average. And I can give him a 6 out of 10. Because he has been above, because he has been decent in some games. And not so great in the others. Next, we have Andres Christensen. Ever since uh, Trippel came in, he has been a vital part of the squad. He came in um, after the Tottenham game. Where uh, Sil Thiago Silva was injured. He, he had to be substituted off for Christensen. And he has been absolutely superb. He has kept, he also, like Rudiger, 
he has been a part of the back three has kept clean sheet of the clean sheet of the clean sheet and i think the experience of thiago silva is rubbing onto him we were wondering about his future few days um like even a year or two years ago when he was making mistakes but this time he has performed superbly and even in the final he came on for thiago silva and put an absolute masterclass performance so for his performances this season i will give andres christensen a 9 out of 10 because he definitely deserves it up next we have thiago silva the absolute rock and a leader that we have had he's been a superb signing for us he also mentioned that it was lampard that brought him in and he has been superb for us apart from two games uh one against west brom where he slipped and allowed callum robertson to score one another game against against west brom as well where he got a second yellow card but for games he has performed and in some games he has been injured as well but when he is there he has he has marshaled his troops and he deserves a definitely an 8 out of 10 because he has been superb uh, kurt zuma he has been very very shaky um he is not the player that we saw in last season i feel he has kind of regressed a bit but i think that he's still a young lad and he is one of our, our best center backs he will grow in time but for this season for kurt zuma i'll definitely give him a 4 out of 10 because he has been very very average whenever he has played this season uh he did score a few goals but after tutsal came and he hard, he also hardly played but whenever he played he looked very very uncomfortable so i'll give kurt zuma 4 out of 10 next up ben chilwell i think he has been the, uh, uh one of our great signings 50 million from leicester and he has proved every single worth of it whenever he has played on the left whenever he has played on left wing back role he has played he has played it well yeah um, his defensive uh, techniques have got better and better and he also goes forward very very regularly he has had a very good season i expect to see more of him at the euros and for chelsea next season and i will give chilwell a 7 out of 10 moving on we go on to reece james this guy has been an absolute revelation um at sometimes he plays right back sometimes he has played as a right wing back and for a couple of games this season he plays a right center back to cover the threat of jamie vardy but whenever he has played he has looked superb he can improve definitely improve going forward because sometimes instead of whipping it whipping the ball first time he tends to go back and uh, they kind of kills the momentum of the play and he has been absolutely elevated in the season the champions league final we saw um he put an absolute monster performance kept raheem sterling in his pocket and he has been superb today this season he's gone above one level last season when he played he was showed glimpses and he showed promises this season he has just taken it to another level and i expect another great performance of him from the euros and i will give race james a solid 8 out of 10 to 8 out of 10 for this season because he has proved that he is worth it academy product born and academy born and bred and he will only be better he is still young he will improve his game but he is getting better and better and he is a future for the next 10 years next up cesar aspeliqueta my captain ever since he has come back into the team on the thomas tuchel he has been an absolute monster um he's not the biggest in size he's not going to brush you off like that yes his pace is a bit off he cannot go forward bomb forward like he used to but in defense he has been absolutely brilliant a captain when you need him and he him lifting the champions trophy was worth it um he deserved it completely because he has been playing superbly throughout the course of the season whenever um the game uh, demands a captain like him whenever this team requires a lift he has provided the lift and he has um he scored against bonley that kind of a uh, catapulted our comeback um into the season he has been absolutely brilliant today and as a captain and as a leader and as a defender i'll give him a 9 out of 10 because he deserves it emerson he has hardly played can say like he had a wonderful moment against atletico madrid and uh, I give him a 6 out of 10 because he's been above average and you can't really rate him but it is what it is next up we go into the midfielders first up we have jorginho this guy was heavily criticized and he was left out of lampard starting lineup and he only he is also one of the players 
that has come after Tuchel. And he has been rock solid in the double pivot alongside N'Golo Kante, who I'm going to come to in a sec. But Jorginho has been superb. His uh, skills with the ball have improved when players are, around, players are around him. And we have to remember, this guy was actually booed two years ago when he played on the Sari, saying that he hasn't got many assists. He's just passing sideways backwards. But this time, he's playing a lot more passes forward. His game impro he's, um, improved on his game. Yes, he does have a few mistakes like the one he had against Arsenal and uh, in the Aston Villa game where he was very slow. And sometimes he does have these rash challenges in him where he gets himself yellow cards. But for the way he has conducted himself this season, I will give Jorginho a 7 out of 10. Next to him, N'Golo Kante. What do we say of him? He is an absolute beast. He can attack. He can defend. He can sweep up. He can do everything. What can this man not, not do? 70% of the world is covered by N'Golo Kante and 30% is covered by water. That stands true till today. The N'Golo Kante, whenever he has played, he has been absolutely superb. Back in his favoured position as a defensive midfielder and he is absolutely brilliant, outstanding. His performance in the final again, absolutely brilliant. He kept Kevin De Bruyne in his pockets. That one tackle when Kevin De Bruyne was going forward and he made it was absolutely brilliant. And the way he stays humble and gracious and after a victory or defeat is absolutely unmatched. And for that, N'Golo Kante gets a 9 out of 10 this season. And he has absolutely deserved every single bit of it. Now, up next to him, Matteo Kovacic. I think he was, he was good whenever he has played. But he was injured for a large part of the season. For me, he has had a pretty average season, but still, whenever he has come on, he has made decent impacts. So, I will give him a 7 out of 10 for Matteo Kovacic. Moving forward, we have Mason Mount. What do I say about this kid? He is absolutely brilliant. He has been our player of the season, apart from Kante. And I cannot fault him. He is, he is a workhorse. He can attack. He can defend. The way he manipulates the ball... He's absolutely brilliant. We did question his mentality a bit when he kind of put in a below average performance in the FA Cup final. But in the Champions League final, that pass to Kai Havertz was more than enough for me to definitely give him a 9 out of 10 for this season. He has been a player of the season. He will only get better and better. He is also a player I am looking forward to in the Euros. And let's see how he performs. He is, he, I can definitely say he has all the attributes of becoming a club legend. His idol is Frank Lampard. Lampard has sung praises of him every single time and he is not letting us down. Next to him, Hakim Ziyech. A bit of an underwhelming season for him, but he did score some clutch goals. He scored against Atletico Madrid. He scored against Man City in the FA Cup semi-final. He scored against uh, Man City in the league as well. He got as the equaliser. He scored against Sheffield United. But overall, I think he has been uh, pretty poor. And uh, yes, he will get better next season because... This season, only parts he has played. He hasn't had a full season. It's his first season in England. And he will definitely get better. So, giving him the benefit of the doubt, I will give Hakim Ziyech a 6 out of 10. Next up, Billy Gilmore. He's hardly played this season. But one performance that will stand out for me is Man City away, where he absolutely passed the midfield alongside uh, Jorginho. And when Kante came on, he was absolutely brilliant that time and I'll give him a 5 out of 10. I probably think he would need another loan to extend, to get more experience because I'm not sure how much he will be uh, used next season. Next up, we have Kai Havertz. That goal in the Champions League final is all enough for me to give him a high rating. I don't want to give 10 out of 10 because I'm not giving 10 for anybody. Um, he has had a tough uh, first season in England. Um, given the fact that he had COVID and he had to come back and he had uh, he played out of position, which is tough on him. But when Tuchel came in, obviously Tuchel is German, Havertz is German. Um, he played him a lot more forward and he got a um, lot more productiveness going up forward. He, he did have some crucial moments. He did have some good games. And obviously the goal in the Champions League final to win us the Champions League. 80 million worth is completely paid in full and we can only see him the best of him next season. I'll give Havertz a 9 out of 10 just for the fact that he scored in the Champions League final and uh, 
he absolutely he has had some good moments under Tuchel. Okay, nine might be too much. We'll probably uh, revise it and say seven out of ten. But given he scored in the Champions League final, it's hard to not rate him. Next, we move up to the forwards. First of all, we have Tammy Abraham. He had a decent start to the season, and he also had he was our top scorer last season with 15 goals. But off late, he is not in Thomas Tuchel's reckoning. And um, some games he can be a passenger when uh, there were chances to him and he wasn't taking them. He is a top scorer in the FA Cup and he has scored in the Champions League as well. But he has been a very um, say average season for Tammy Abraham. And I will give him a 6 out of 10. And I genuinely think he is on his way out next season. If we keep him, I think we should give him more playtime. Because obviously he's also from the academy. He's born and bred here in Chelsea Football Club. I think he will make a good um, competition alongside Werner and possibly another striker, whoever we're buying this summer. Next, we have Christian Pulisic. He's also been pretty underwhelming this season. He has had some good games. He's had some bad games. But overall, he's had a pretty average season. I expected to see the best of him this season. After last season, he finished off strongly after he unfortunately got the injury. Again, he's another player who is injury-prone and needs to stay fit throughout the course of the season. And I'm giving Pulisic a 5 out of 10. Timo Werner, well, I don't like, given the benefit of the doubt of his first season, he does have 30 plus goals and assist, uh, contribu 30 plus goal contributions for Chelsea, be it goals or assists. And he has had some very, very unlucky moments. He has been caught more offside more than 40 times this league season. Very, very unlucky of him. But I think we will see the best of him next season. He's slowly getting into groove. If he's not scoring, he's providing us with crucial runs. And he's providing us with crucial assists. So for his first season, um, I'm giving him a 6 out of 10. And uh, I don't think we need to be too harsh on him. But I think that that's the, that's the least he deserves. Next, we have Olivier Giroud. Uh, whenever he has played, he has contributed to scoring goals. Who can forget the winner he did against uh, Ren? And the four goals he scored against Sevilla. He scored some crucial goals against Aston Villa, against Wolves, etc. etc. But I genuinely think he is also on the way out next season. And um, thank you for whatever you have done, Giroud. You have won the Europa League, you won the FA Cup, and now you won the Champions League as well. So for whatever he has contributed, I will give Giroud a 7 out of 10. Next up, we have Callum Hudson Odoi, aka Cho. Um, again, some uh, another player who has been hardly played this season. Whenever he has played, he has showed good glimpses. He did have a full game against Burnley, uh, where he played well. He came off, came on in the second half against Man City in the league, where he had a fantastic game. I remember one game though at Southampton away, where he was brought on at halftime, and he was brought off after some time. I don't understand what the logic was, and. Um, I think he is also one of our. He is also an academy product. He is also a youth product, and I think we should stick to him. And I think if we give him some more and more chances, he will definitely improve. And for Hudson Odoi, I will give a six on ten. Let us uh, finally just rate the manager, both the managers who have been here. Um, Frank Lampard. Uh, he started well, but his inexperience if, uh, effectively kicked in. And we could definitely see that he was clearly out of his depth. And uh, he, he got sacked, which was pretty sad to see. But at the end, we won the Champions League. So we can definitely say that sacking was um, correct from Roman Abramovich. He, I give Lampard a 5 out of 10. He maybe could have been given more time. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Thomas Tuchel, definitely he gets an out of 100. His goal is in the top four and he has won the Champions League. So we cannot give, we cannot um, say anything wrong about him. Yes, he could have won us the FA Cup as well, but we won the Champions League. So others basically like they fade in comparison. So that's it for my season player ratings for this season. Um, it's been another great season. As usual, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. There will be a lot more content coming up. As I said earlier, I did a full in depth season review. The link which I will be putting up here at the end. And uh, thank you all once again. See you soon.